actually a brand new game for this channel and a brand new style of game for this channel, but not technically for me because let me just, let me show you. I put a bit of time into this game already. It's actually one of my favorite games. Um, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to maybe do a small little playthrough for it for people who have never played the game. Um, I am a huge fan of Harvest Moon. I've always loved the game, so having this on the computer where it's easy for me to access to, I just love it, and I love the free roaming of this game and everything like that, so why don't we start a new game? Now the best part of all is to create the character. So let's go with uh, Radisson. And we're going to call it the Scaredy Cat Farm. And I like cats. And so we're going to have a cat. And um, on the original game that I played, I played the standard farm, which it wasn't until, like, actually quite recently that I realized you could pick different farms. So I figured let's try the hilltop farm, because <clears throat> I don't care for fishing in this game. I am a horrible fisher. So, fisherman, fisherwoman, so let's try this one. So, uh, let's get this uh, underway, shall we? Gray pants, nice gray pants. That looks good. So, we have Radisson, so let's get started. And for my very special granddaughter, quickly, I don't remember, I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. <coughs> Why is my hand still moving? <laughs> when that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. <sighs> my hand is kind of spazzing, I'm sorry. Now let Grandpa rest. That, that, yours later. That was my grandpa voice, by the way. What I always loved is the people watching you. Oh, I should be quiet, sorry. Cutscene! Cutscene! Why does that cowboy have pill bottles? <laughs> I never paid that much attention. Oh, I'm not happy. I'm not oh. That was a giant ass computer though. If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Scaredy Cat Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This is my most precious gift of all. And now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck, love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Okay, Grandpa! I'll do it for you! <laughs> I, the, one of my favorite things is that, I mean, it's, 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 in its own way, a very beautiful game. I love the way it looks. And maybe that's just me being biased. I don't really care. I like Dirty Valley, point five miles. Or a half a mile, whatever. It's a bird. Look at that bird. Tweet. Dragon Rabbit. Tweet. Okay. 
haven't done the beginning of this game in freaking forever. Hello! Hello! You must be Radisson. That's a horrible voice for her, but that's okay. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mary Lou sent me here to fetch you, and you should show you the way to your new home. He's here there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. I'm guessing she's heck. She lives in a country town. I don't know. That's my thought process. This is Scaredy Cat Farm! I heard y'all are a bunch of pussies. Sorry. Oh no! It's so messy! What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I don't know why you talk- you're a carpenter! You don't farm! Your husband's a sign- Oh, uh, just hush. Sorry. And here we are! Your new home! Hi! <laughs> ah! The new farmer! I don't know what Mayor Lewis is. He's gonna change voices a lot. Welcome! I'm Lewis! Mayor of Pelican Town, you know everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. They kind of have the same voice. <laughs> so, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Gaze upon it, my dear. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt. Rude! The angry! Don't listen to her, R R Radisson. I didn't know my own name. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. That face, though. She was done. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired. Tired? You must be so tired from that long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople. I take a minute turn around slowly. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it like a creepy old man. Well, good luck! Come here! Come here! Alright, Robin had nothing else to say either. <laughs> <laughs> it's morning even though I don't have chickens. Oh, even the houses is different. I like it though. I got the parsnips! You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mary Lou. And then you click here, and you said get started. Alright, got it. And then you gotta introduce yourself. Got it. And we shall begin the new adventure. Okay, before I begin this, I, I decided to switch back to a normal farm, so I don't look the same. My hair's a little off. So the house looks different, and I'm not- I'm- <laughs> I'm no longer at the, um, whatever you call it, the, uh, special farm with all the rocks, because I discovered for this kind of a playthrough, for this kind of fun, I just didn't even want to mess with it. I didn't care enough different. I thought it was like, oh, well, that'll make it funner for me to replay it. Nope. Nope. It wasn't. Let me tell you how much it wasn't. But everything else happened the same. There was nothing else different. So, here we go. We're gonna clear this stuff out. How many do I have? 15. Okay, so we need to till the soil. Two, three, four, five. And then I like to leave the space. I didn't realize how blonde I made my hair, but that makes it even better. Let's go. So there's actually a very many different people you can go talk to. So let's go talk to some. Oh, it's a radish! Or is that a, that's a leak. I need my veggies! It's so like, no, oh, I haven't much. My inventory is full. How do I go to inventory? E. 
I don't remember the buttons. I actually threw those on the ground. I need to. I forget. I keep pressing the tab button. It's not the right button. It's battlegrounds buttons. Okay, so we're gonna go meet people. Too obvious. What's this question mark? Oh, hey, look. That's okay. So Mayor Lewis's birthday is on the seventh. Nothing is posted today. We need to go meet. So this is your. This is where you can buy seeds and everything. Uh, this is Gus. I'm getting some supplies. I'm probably not going to make a voice for every character because there's a lot of characters. The only ones I truly care about. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. Okay. Ah, Mary Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. And she's the lady who... No. I sell love stock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. I don't have any way to... And this is Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, stay off now! That's trespassing! Anyways, um, let's talk to Pierre. Hey, it's Miss Radisson, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'm all all but chop I also buy produce from you for a good price. Thank you, Pierre. I've actually never sold any produce to you. A little agriculture can really inject new life into the local economy. Okay, anyways. Um, so you, Pierre, you buy the stuff from, and I like to do the beans. My inventory is full, never mind. I need to go talk to George! So that was the general store, and then you have a lot of different buildings with a lot of different people. That's Gus. He runs the salon. I know it's saloon, but I call it a salon! Oh. I forgot. Hi! Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. I'll see you around. Okay, bye. I'm gonna go in here. So actually, my first playthrough, I didn't really put too much interest in the people here because, um, just, I was more concentrating on building my farming empire. But, um, sorry, I was in your way. Um, I think I'm gonna focus more on, like, the social aspect of all this. I did get married in the other game, but... Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. That's a little creepy, so I'm probably not. Goodbye! George! Oof, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way, not Bozal. Okay, I am gonna do this because I know he likes these. This is my favorite thing, thank you. Sorry, already I needed to get rid of it. So I gave it to him. So let's go meet other people in town. Is anybody here? No, okay. Go oh, in here, anybody here? Oh, hi! Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop at the saloon. If that's where I work. Okay. And then, unless you're close friends with people, you can't go into the bedrooms. I got some yellow ass hair. I'm just realizing that. Hi, kitty! Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Well, I just came into your house, randomly, so you probably should have talked to me. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Well, what did you imagine? It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. It doesn't. <laughs> I don't know where else to go. Hi. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Belkin Town. It's rewarding work. I'll, uh, I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. You are too nice. I don't trust you. Oh, hi. Hello, you must be Radisson, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hi. My husband runs a general store here. And have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Yeah, I've met her. 14 out of 27 people. We are doing great. So I did, oh wait, have I met you? Yeah, I have. Um, I did mention that I did get married in my playthrough of the game by myself. And I got married to a very interesting character that at the time, I don't know why I did. It just sounded like a good idea at the time, and for some reason, I liked this character. 
I need to sell some shit. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you collect a lot of stuff. I need to make a box. Oh, okay. Well, bye, Ella. I didn't want to talk with you either. Uh, how many do I need? How much wood do I need? 300 pieces. Well, considering I have 28 right now, I don't think we're going to be able to get that right now, so never mind. Oh, there's Elliot! This is the guy I married. <laughs> yes, he does have very long hair, but this character is like a creative. He like, writes a book and stuff, and so I was very drawn to that because I'm a creative. Um, so I married him, and uh, yeah, <laughs> so... We, but I'm gonna focus on a different character, I think, that I want to be my new husband. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot, I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. You mean the one that's right over there? Okay. You mean that one? Okay, bye. Bye, Elliot. Yep, that's my husband in another life. I know. I know. I don't know why it happened. I th oh, hi. And also, this is the cool thing about this game that I really liked. Um, um, it there's ten bachelor, uh, been ten bachelor and bachelorettes. Um, and also, like, I think there's actually even less, more than that. I don't remember. Anyways, it doesn't matter what gender you are. You can marry anybody if that's just how you work. And it's really actually kind of cool because that's the first time in any real game like this, other than like, you know, the, it went that way and I liked it. I thought that was so cool. I didn't get much done today, but I met a lot of people and that in itself is hard work. Let me tell you, that in itself is a lot of work. Do, 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 do. Um, I'm not going to like play, okay, I'm gonna sell some stuff. Uh, we're gonna sell that. Oh, we're gonna sell all those, and that, and that, and that. Okay. So we have some free room, and we have, we, we will get money in the morning. I forgot. I was like, why don't I have money now? I forgot. Not how it works. Not how it works. I gotta clear all this out. I wanna go meet a specific character. He's one of my favorites. So I went to go meet him. I wonder who it could be. Is it going to be my future husband? No, because you can't marry him. But if I could, I would. <laughs> Never mind, you can't hear so I can't talk to him yet. Okay, bye. Oh, I got a wild horseradish. Bam. One of my big things when I, I focus more on the animals and like, because you can get chickens and you can get pigs and you can get sheep and sheep and you can get ducks and you can get a horse. Anyway, so I focus mainly on those aspects. Oh, and you can get goats. Um, of the farming life because I'm a big animal person and I actually growing up I had goats and pigs and I've had you know cows and so that aspect of my life I kind of really like to recreate because and I've had horses so I like to do that part because we grew we grow wheat but that's about the only crop we grow so <laughs> and we're not really like that kind of farmer we do animals and stuff but anyways I'm gonna go throw this horseradish in here. And then I'm actually going to. Do I have enough to make a box? So the cool thing about this is there's crafting. And I do not have enough wood to make a box. Well, it's not nighttime yet, so I'm gonna get enough wood to make a box. Baby tree! Baby tree! Okay, I got 50. I keep pressing the tab button, which is not the button I need. There we go. And we're going to put that. Oh, wait. That, 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 that. And then we're going to make it. We're going to make it. Since this is going to be just material, we're going to make it. This. The. The. Uh, the green. Yay! You can't see it. And we're going to look at the TV. 
Don't know why I looked at the weather. Ah, <laughs> uh, living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for all four. Turn some cash while we wait for your first harvest. No shit. Hold on. I like to put that there. Look, my eyes glow. Okay, good night. And that's how you end the day. You just in the day. <laughs> and because we put those uh, shells in there, we earned 300 gold. So that was the first day. <laughs>